Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is me doing day 15? 16? This thing is not loading. I think day 16. But I still have to wait for it to load. What is going on? Uh, but yeah, of the Lico Day Challenge. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, let me know what you think about today's prompts. Uh, I mean, it'll be nice if it loads. Is uh, Litco having server issues? Alright. Alright, there we go. Day 16. Let's go. Go, go, go. Today we have a hard problem to read the rig. Given a sorted integer array nums and an integer n, add patch elements to the array such that any number in the range 1 to n inclusive can be formed by the sum of some elements in the array. Return the minimum number patches required. I don't know what that means, so let's take a look. Let's say nums is 1 to n3, n is equal to 6. Oh. Mm. Can each can a number can we do multiple times? I, I hmm. But yeah, I think the way to I don't know how the two and two I guess it you can. But yeah, but I think um, the key observation is gonna be greedy. Um, the idea is that okay, let's say you have um, you're going from you so the array is already sorted, so you're going from small to little, right? So let's say we have 1, 5, and 10. So then now, what does that mean, right? Let's say we have number 1. 1 means that we can go from 0 to 1, right? And then now we see the next number, 5. That means that, well, we can, you know, that means that there's a gap from, um, well, we cannot do 2, right? So what, what is the small, smallest, uh, the, the number that, that gives us 2? Well, you know, you could add one, right, and that'll give you two. But if you could add one number, why not add the uh, largest number that could get you two, which is of course two, because then now uh, you can do from zero. You could add two to every number in this range, right? Because that's how you kind of uh, figure out a new range, and that will give you two to three, right? So now you could do every number from zero to three. And then the same thing is that, okay, let's say we have to get the number four. What is the number that allows us to get to four? Um, and then so forth. So then you can keep on doing it uh, for all the numbers, and that should be good. Because adding four to the series now gives us zero to seven. And then now adding five, we're going to do zero to 12. Uh, adding 10 gives us zero to 22. And 22 is bigger than n, so we only added two and four. So that's basically the idea. Um, is this greedy idea of just having these intervals and when you, it's almost like um, a sort of dynamic programming right where you have these ranges of number and then you add and you have a new number coming in and you're trying to um, and you add that number to every number in that range with no gaps so that's basically it so okay so then now we can do something like 4x in nums right maybe we have a count as you go to zero and then we have um, Maybe like uh, right, right is equal to zero, right? And right is just the right bound of the left is always going to be zero because you have to do all the bounds inclusively, right? So then now, um, right, we um, how do I do it? So if x is greater than right plus one then that means that there is a gap um from right plus one to x minus one right so that means that we have to fill it out so we fill it out by by doing right we add it to right plus one and count count increment and then after that we know that x is going to be at most right plus one so then now we can just write, we add to x. And remember, this is the whole range from zero to right. So then that's pretty much it. And then, yeah. Uh, oh. And then now, um, while n is greater than right, then we just keep on adding numbers right plus one, right? And that's it. 
give it some mint. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, huh. Oh, 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 I see. I, 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 eh. that is, okay, fine. I didn't really terminate. So here, it, I, I still keep on adding numbers as we go through the list, but we didn't go through n, right? So yeah, well, well, n is greater than right, and this, then yeah. Uh, did I add this in? Yeah. Um, yeah, I should, uh, I'm just very sloppy lately. I don't know why I'm missing so many silly edge cases. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And what's the complexity here, right? This is going to be linear time, just because you have to look at each number once, more or less. Um, this over one space. Um, you, might, you might have a question about, you know, how many times do we do these, right? Uh, do these in the loop. The, the thing is that the loop, if you can't pay attention, right basically doubles every time, right? So that means that in the worst case, right will double... Um, all the way up to when it gets to n and that means that it will double log n times but keeping in mind this input n is not the input size n the input size n is the the number of elements in a way that let's just call this target all right and then uh then this is going to be sorry let me double check real quick yeah then this is going to be um o of n plus log of target or kind of over of target depending on how you want to say it because that is the number of bits representing target so in each case it is still linear time because for each bit in target we do all of one operation so this is going to be linear time linear space or uh, constant space ish uh, over b space maybe uh but yeah that's all i have for this one let me know what you think thanks for watching and yeah stay good stay healthy to your mental health I'll see you out later and take care. Bye-bye.